Hello everyone, this is Ahmed and in our anatomy tutorial today we are going to be talking about the muscles of the shoulder joint. The muscles of the shoulder joints uh, take their origin from the scapula and end on the humerus. But let's uh, look at some muscles we mentioned before like the brachiocephalic muscle. We said before that uh, this muscle is divided into the cleidobrachial muscle this one here and the cleidocervical and the cleidomastoid muscles as we mentioned before they are fused in the camel the trapezius muscle insert, inserts on the scapular spine is divided into the thoracic part and the cervical part of the trapezius muscle Here we can see the latissimus dorsi arises from the thoracolumbar fascia and inserts on the terrace measure tuberosity on the medial surface of the humerus. The last muscle we are going to, to look at before we move to the muscles of the shoulder joint is the rhomboid muscle here we can see the superficial part of the thoracic rhomboid muscle inserts into the caudal aspect of the scapular cartilage and is located as you can see here under the thoracic part of the trapezius muscle cranial to the scapular spine we can see the supraspinous muscle arises from and fills completely the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserts with strong tendon on both greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus. Now caudal to the spine of the scapula we can see the infraspinous muscle arises from the infraspinous fossa and the scapular cartilage and inserts by means of a strong flat tendon on the caudal part of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Here we can see the scapular part of the deltoid muscle and this one is the acromial part of the deltoid muscle. The scapular part of the deltoid muscle arises from the spine of the scapula and from the outside surface of the infraspinous muscle and inserts on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus while the acromial part of the deltoid muscle arises from the acromion and inserts in a common with the scapular part on the deltoid tuberosity. The triceps brachii acts as a flexor of the shoulder joint and has three heads. In this lateral view we can see uh, the long head of the triceps brachii and this one here is the lateral head of the triceps brachii. The long head of the triceps brachii arises from the caudal border of the scapula and inserts with a stroke tendon on the caudal dorsal surface of the olecranon. While the lateral head of the triceps brachii arises from the tricipital line of the humerus and inserts on the caudal lateral aspect of the olecranon. Now I would like to go with you to the other forelimb and look at the same muscles to refresh our information about uh, them. You know, here we can see the deltoid muscle, uh, which is divided into the scapular part and the acromial part of the deltoid muscle. If you remember, we said uh, that the uh, scapular part of the deltoid muscle originate from the spine of the scapula and from the outside surface of the infraspinous muscle here we, we, we removed actually this uh, the tendon of the scapula part to be able to see the infraspinous muscle the scapula part inserts into the deltoid tuberosity 
why the acromial part originates from the acromion and uh, inserts into the same uh, point which is the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus caudal to the spine of the scapula we can see the infraspinous muscle fills completely the infraspinous fossa and inserts on the caudal part of the greater tubercle of the humerus if we remove the th uh, cervical part of the trabeous muscle we can see here the supraspinous muscle which inserts on the greater and lesser tubercle of the humerus. Let's look one more time at the triceps brachii. This is the long head of the triceps brachii and originate from the caudal border of the scapula. This one is the lateral head of the triceps brachii both heads insert on the olecranon of the anna. The triceps brachii innervated by branches of the radial nerve. So here under the lateral head of the uh, triceps brachii, we can see the deep branch of the radial nerve. And here we can see the superficial branch of the radial nerve.